Hey guys, with power comes great responsibility and power gets shipped to you for free at your home in a cardboard box. Let's check it out. Of course I was talking about my new GPU GTX 980 Ti by Amazon. Really, really awesome. I hope. I haven't tested yet. So let's unbox. Let's check this out. I'm really curious. At this moment, I own a um, MSE GTX 760. So, yeah, not really too special. Of course, it is really special, but yeah. Okay, how do we. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, let's toss this to the side really carefully because it is great power. There we go, we got some more cardboard with some guidelines, cables for which I have no idea what they uh, do, drivers I guess, yeah driver utility, manual, I already said that, and here we go guys, let's open this one up, holy shit, there we go. Carefully get this thing out of here. This GPU, not this thing. Alright, stay so the bed we see. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a backplate. But let's not worry about that yet. I'm not worried actually. Holy shit, this thing is heavy. Alright, there we go. Look at it. Doesn't look, it looks amazing, in my opinion. Nice cold steel. Or aluminium, I should say. Fan, you should never move your fan, but I just did because I, I can. Glass plate, oh, oh, this awesome moment. Haha, <laughs> now the shine is there. Alright, here we go, take a look at the back. Looks pretty damn fucking amazing. Alright, so let's see what specs we have on the GTX 980 Ti. Alright, here we have the specifications of the GTX 760, the GTX 980 Ti and the GTX Titan X. So the CUDA cores we can see on the GTX 76 are 1152 and it's at least doubled at the GTX 980, doubled with 500 extra and if you add 200 more you get the Titan X. So that is really epic. Base clock is 980 normal uh, GTX 760 plus 20 you get the GTX 980 and same for the Titan X boost clock is 1033 and both the GTX 980 and the Titan are 1075 so that's pretty fucking epic texture fill rate is 94.1 on the 760 one 76 on the 980 and on the Titan X 192 so yeah memory clock uh, gigahertz is 6 and on both the Titan X uh, yeah Titan X and the 980 it's 7 memory is 2 then we have 6 and we double that to get the Titan X and then you get 12 wow 12 gigabytes of memory Really not epic. Memory type we have GDDR5 on all the video cards. The memory interface width is 256 bits. On the 980 it's 384 and the same goes with the Titan X. Memory band width on gigabytes a second is 192. Then on the 980 we have three uh, 36.5 and same goes with the Titan X but is it Nvidia SLI able yes freeways on the 760 and both the Titan X and the 980 Ti are four-way compatible so it's really epic they both you uh, can use Nvidia G-Sync max resolution is with the 760 4096 by 2160 and for both the 980 and the Titan X, it's 5120 times 320. Yeah, 
multi monitors on both you can play four monitors so that's pretty epic maximum temperatures are 97 40 760 49 80 92 and 40 titan x 91 Maximum power it draws is 170 and both the Titan X and 980 use 250. The uh, power supply goes up by 100 for both the Titan X and the 980 so that's both 600. And it costs about, well, the 760, 250 euros probably. The 980 if you don't have a custom one. 750 and the titan x it says here for 1000 well that's a great deal so i'm not sure where my cousin got that info from but let's go ahead and see what that actually means in fps we get all right here we have a chart of four epic games all played on max quality one of them is compared with the titan x all of them have my old 760 and all of them have the 980 ti in the chart so look out for those also we compare it with the Raiden r9 390x and with the bottom two we compare it with the Raiden r9 290x so as you can see with arkham knight the Raiden r9 390x is a little less good than the 980 going down a bit we have a huge difference with uh, the witcher 3 with about 20 FPS difference. When we go to the side to Dying Light, we get about 7, yeah, 7 uh, FPS more with the 980, but almost, almost double than the 760 that I used before. When we go, go up to Battlefield, comparing it with the Titan X, we have double that of the uh, 760. And about for 30 FPS difference with the Titan X. So the 980 is really a beast. Keeping up with the Titan X that good. Yeah, really, really awesome. With 6 gigabytes of memory less than the Titan X. And this needs to go. MSE GTX 760. Let's get more light in here because it's getting dark outside. Not sure why. So first thing we need to do is to power off, mm, wrong side, yes, power is off, great. Now, instructions, manuals, guys read manuals, what do we need? Gloves, scissors, screwdriver, why do we need scissors? Do we need scissors here? No, we don't need scissors. So I'm gonna read this in Dutch. No, will I? I can also read it in English. First thing we want to do. Package. Does it include everything? Yep, it does. System requirements. Slot motherboard. Yeah, we got that under control. 16 slot. Yeah, we got that. This can be used an auxiliary tool to pull out the power connectors or remove the Brackets. Now we can pull out the power connectors with our hands, so thank you. Though, what else? Hardware installation, turn off the power, remove. Alright, we can do that. We can do this. Let's check this out. So, but ow! No, just kidding. <laughs> Stupid joke, I know. Alright. Let's ease. Take it easy, don't worry. Don't worry. Alright, so it says you need a 6-pin and an 8-pin connector. Well, these two are both 6-pin, so how do you make an 8? Well, you just make 8-pin by getting one of these two 2-pin two connectors and just shove it up in there. Just shove it up. Now, we have some pump screws over here. Let's get my trusty weapon of choice. Where is my weapon of choice? Oh, it's right here. Flashlight, always the most handy thing on earth. So what keeps what in place? We got nothing back there. We just got this one thumb screw, unless I'm missing something. I hope I'm not. Oh, 
Alright, that's why I need a screwdriver. These things are not thumb screws. They are screws that are tied with on there with the power of Thor. Alright, one is, is a thumb screw and the other one is a thumb screw as well. Let's get both out of this place. But keep them safe, you don't want to roll them around destroying your whole system and doing stuff. No, that's not what film screws do. Alright, way in the back here. Was that an opening and closing thing? I think it should be. Hmm. Yep, it's an opening and closing thing. Alright. Right over there. No, nope. not focusing? No. Okay, great. There's an opening and closing button thingy that we need to push. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. That's my eye, as I. Oh, get back there. MSI 760. Wow, that costed way too much energy than I thought it was. Would. Well, not too much. It was done really fast, but still. There we go. It's out. What is this? Oh, it's a sticker. <laughs> nice. Really awesome. I'm gonna put this on the wall right next to my. Uh... There it is. Corsair box and my old cooling set. If you haven't seen my video about how to install the hydro. I100, H100i, then check the link in the below, um, sorry, click the link below in the description or click on my hand, not sure if I will do that, but yeah. Now, let's go on to the big work. That's the big work. By the way, I'm alone, so I need to film this and I need to commentate and I need to do stuff, so yeah, I, I have a hard knock life. Alright, let's put this back there. Alright, so first thing in this box is this 6 pin connector to 8 pin connector. So that's handy, then you don't need to um, use this, but I m probably will use this because it's, it's nicer. Then putting this in between first and then put this thing in. It just keeps it clean unless I cannot reach it. Let's check out the 980 Ti because I might, I think I'm able to reach that. Yeah, see right over here. Not sure if you see. No. Six pin and eight pin. So yeah, that's not gonna be too hard. Now. All right, there we get that. Thumb thingy again, this clicky thing, and we got this. Also, not able if sure if you can see this. We put that way back here. Should need to click somewhere. Oh, <laughs> stupid me! First of all, remove everything that's red. This is red. <laughs> I think it was. Alright, let's put this carefully in here. Now. Alright. And then gently push. Till it clicks. I think there was a click. Let's see if the thumb thing is on. Keep supporting it. Till you have the thumb screws on. Is it? No, I don't think it's. There we go. All right, now it has clicked. Now it's in there. All right. Keep supporting this from below. Now first put the thing in the bottom in. All right, good. It's not upside down. There we go. The bottom thumb screws in. 
Now the top one that isn't really supporting anything that needs to go in there to do something else. If it doesn't make sense to you, um, yeah, neither do, does it for me. I then gently make them tight. I don't make them too tight. Right there, that's the good spot. All right, guys. Wow, look at that piece of equipment. And look at that bunch of cables that I need to clean up later. So let's install the 8 pin and 4 pin. No, 6 pin, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, big mistake. That's the 6 pin. Then we press the 8 pin and the. No, the 2 pin and the 6 pin together like this. Make sure they're in the right order. Why is this one square? Oh, wait, it has one square thing and a... Okay, that's easy to uh, remember. So if you have two pins, one of them is square and one of them is kind of roundish and that thing... And that's with the... Six pin as well. Now, come on. Get back out, I need you. Alright, if you can see this, this... Two pin, has a little hook right here that needs to go on top. If you put in the six pin first and then the two pin, it's not gonna work because this needs to go up first. There you have it, little tip. Just found it out today. Never knew about this. There we go. Let's give it a little push. Well, it should be working, guys, right now. And right off the bat, we see LED. GeForce GTX right on the side right below my water cooled Hydro H100i Wow, I remember names, great <laughs> Alright guys, there we have it the unboxing installation benchmarking guide for the GTX 980 Ti and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this this thing is gonna get, make my gaming experience way much better. Of course, later on I will show you and let you know um, everything it can do, everything I did with it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please leave a like. If you um, want to see more, please subscribe and uh, share it with all your friends, of course. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.